Have you ever felt like you've hit a wall in the software development industry, like you've stopped growing? Trust me, as someone who has been knee-deep in the code for various tech projects, this feeling is all too familiar. But look around, everywhere you turn, someone's reading something and adding to their portfolio, showcasing it on platforms like X or LinkedIn. And if you're honest with yourself, you might feel a twinge of envy or even hostility. Who hasn't had that moment of seeing someone's open source project on a GitHub and thinking, seriously? Not all the projects will impress you and that's okay. Yes, some of these projects might seem basic and easy to construct, but the buzz they generate online can be overwhelming. And here is a perspective from my years in the industry. They're on the right track. They're not only building, they're a fostering community, connecting with peers and getting invaluable feedback at no cost. Over time, they start to navigate their learning journey better, understanding what to pick up next. Their projects evolve from basic to intermediate and eventually reach advanced stages. The more ambitious and unique the project, the more they're compelled to learn and innovate. This iterative approach from my experience is truly a solid pathway to enhancing your coding skills. Just remember, there's a distinction you're becoming a better programmer, but we haven't reached the software engineer title just yet. Diving deeper as you mature in your coding journey, you'll find yourself intrigued by paradigms, design patterns, and even languages that once seemed boring, like functional ones. This is a sign, a sign of evolving, of pushing batteries. From securing codes to ensuring optimized performance, you're now thinking about the broader picture. Depending on your aspirations, you might find yourself drawn to trending areas of tech. Maybe it's the allure of DevOps, to the intricate challenges of security engineering, or the creativity of game development. This crossroads is a testament to your growth. With a foundational skill set in coding, the world is truly your oyster. And it's okay to ponder your direction for the next one or two years. If you are someone who's unsure or wants to explore diverse arenas, let me give you a nugget of advice. Dive into cloud technologies, experiment with different application designs and services, learn how to optimize, innovate, and ensure resource efficiency. Remember those classic 2D games you used to play, the platformers, the jump and run adventures. Believe it or not, they didn't always rely on advanced engines like Unity or Unreal. Many developers created their collision detection algorithms and infused real-world physics into their games. Challenge yourself, can you recreate those experiences? Can you write this? Can you build this? Can you? Adopting your abilities, if the mere thought of recreating such experiences feels daunting and hard and you're unsure of even the theoretical approach, then it's a sign. It's a sign that there's more to learn, more to create. Commit yourself to dedicate a few hours every weekend to craft something new. Follow those people online. Try out the full resources. If you don't comprehend the code, put in the chat GPT and ask him to teach that piece of code. Use the tools and take the opportunity to expand your horizon. No one's stopping you. And once you've embarked on this journey, share it. Whether it's on X, LinkedIn, or even a video on YouTube, documenting your progress is not just about showcasing, it's about reflection, about cherishing the journey. And trust me, once you're in tech, sifting through legacy codes will become a part of the job. It's an inevitable reality that we all face regardless of the company or team. But by then, with your diverse experiences and trials, you'll be more than ready.